Hi friends, it's John. You're on the JRB Tree Climbing Channel and we've got some exciting developments on the JRB Ascender Hitch and how it can be used in a self-tending system. Quick demonstration. It can be used with one-handed operation to self-tend and that will be useful for not only rope climbers but for any of my audience members who use a tether or a lineman's belt. So let's get started. If you're familiar with the uh, JRB Ascender, and please refer back to the earlier videos on my channel, especially the one that shows how to tie the 523 and the 423 variant, you'll know already that the hitch, fantastic friction hitch, breaks well under load, holds well, it can be tuned with a number of wraps in a couple of dimensions to uh, give you optimal performance and that's all explained and it has a handle either a carabiner or in this case I've woven in a rappel ring so that someone who's ascending a rope has something to grip on and shove that rope and manually tend it up as you're climbing however if we were to take the same friction hitch and use it as a tether let's say uh, and I wanted this one-handed operation well that that doesn't work what we noticed is if you run it in bridge mode so bridge mode is where we're loading the handle as well when we run it that way we get some pretty good performance in terms of and I'm gonna hook up my actual saddle here and you know go into a little bit of a, a, a normal lean take my weight off and I can change that position I mean it's not as smooth as a mechanical device but it's really nice for an almost no metal system it does have this ring in there and what we noticed and and uh, credit to Scott and my group who came up with the idea and then we worked together on the optimal place to uh, to weave the line but we came up with this option for what I will call soft bridge mode so we're not using a hard implement to create bridge mode we're, we're making it out of the cordage itself and that really behaves well I've got it tied over here again um, I'll tell you everything I'm using here so uh, on this rope both the darker cord and this one this is something new for me it is Excel racing dinghy control line it comes from the sailing industry it's not actually for climbing however its specs are quite impressive of course you take responsibility for any materials you engage in your own climbing system I just want to keep you abreast of what I've been looking into so this Excel cord in six millimeters meter on eight millimeter sterling oplux this is the same stuff but in a different color uh, this behaves really really quite well um, and get that really good operation so this movement if you have a tether or a lineman's belt you'll be familiar with that move and how this might be of use to you uh, here in the center this is Teufelberger uh, eight millimeter rope which looks and feels very similar to the sterling oplux here I have tied uh, the JRB ascender uh, these are all five two three variants with six millimeter uh, sterling TRC and you saw that works great so today's video will be in done in two parts I'm going to show you how we tie that and then we're going to step outside into the cold and we are going to show you it in action on a tree as both a tether and a lineman's belt and then I'm going to do something I haven't done before I am going to use it as a foot loop and do an SRT climb with the same hitch creating the friction for my foot loop so here I am rigging up my SRT system for tomorrow this is Samson Predator 11.4 millimeter rope and this is my primary friction hitch my bridge will attach to this uh, and this is a 413 JRB ascender got my handle in place that's how it tends up I'll be climbing on that and then I need something for my feet right I need something for my foot while in transition so I will be tying now a 5 2 3 JRB ascender in soft bridge mode okay let's get in a little tighter here for you while we do that okay so I have six feet of seven millimeter sterling accessory cord 
which is about the right length for this. Of course, you could always tune these lengths as short as you needed to for your application. A tether uh, or a lineman's belt, we might want them really short, and I'll shorten them up a little bit before we hit the tree tomorrow. Uh, but for this foot loop, we wouldn't mind a couple extra inches. So what I'll do is uh, I'll start with about, know, about nine inches of overlap on the left side. I will be making this uh, hitch in the Z chirality starting from left and going to the right with my upward coils. So I, uh, this is a little bit of a recap for you who have already tied the JRB ascender. So we go around once, around twice, and now pass it around the back and now I will be passing the rope down through these two coils against the rope. I've got a nail here to show you exactly where that's going to go. It's going to pass down from top to bottom right where that nail is. Okay, so here it goes. It's around the back of the rope. And as I draw that tight, that constitutes what I call the lower stage of the JRB ascender hitch. And I get that reasonably snug. And we're going to pay attention and try to keep it in this orientation because this location where I'm passing the nail, we're going to be using that location at the end of the tie. I just wanted to point it out now. Now, very important that we move on to the upper stage using the same direction, the same chirality. We went from left to right. So the strand hanging out in the back. We've got to make some coils up here. Which way do we go? We go from left to right. We go in the same direction. and We do five turns. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that's, that's the five of the five, two, three. Now what's the two? The two is, I will be taking this strand, the descending strand off the top of the helix, and I will be passing it up through the bottom two turns of the helix, kind of like you would on a Blake's hitch. Pass it up through those two strands and out the back. I get all the slack out of that that I can. So there's my five. There's my two, it's up through two. And then, simply with this draped down out the back, I remember I had that nail and I pass it through that same location. So that constitutes the five, two, five, two, three, JRB ascender. And I would simply close it in a bend. If I want to run it in soft bridge mode, there's a lot of ways you can do this. Uh, I've tried uh, several different ways, um, and what I've come up with as a recommended uh, best practice is to take the working end, and I am going to shove it back through the left side. So the le I started from the left. The link segment in the center is on the left. All the busyness is on the left. I'm going to take that working end, and I'm going to put it through three strands, both ends as they go through this bottom stage and that descending loop. So right here where I've got the nail, that's where I'm going to put that end. Okay. So that's a great position for the soft bridge mode. And then I simply finish it off with a hunter's bend. I've got a detailed knot tying video on how to tie the hunter's bend. So I will just get on with it. And what I'm going to do is promise you that that's going to remain unchanged. That is exactly what I'm going to climb on tomorrow. Sloppy long tails and everything. Uh, that my foot loop will go in that and we'll, we'll try a little SRT climb. And this will be kind of exciting because uh, this is a way to climb SRT with a, a, a no metal, no mechanical system. Okay, I'll see you outside in the cold.
All right, guys, welcome to the backyard. When I planted this Dawn Redwood, it was about 12 inches tall and you had to watch out for it when you were mowing. And look at it now. And this will be a good representation of a kind of a maximally sized tree that a hunter might use. They tend to choose smaller trees. But I've tethered onto this. I'm gonna show you a lineman's belt on a tree this large. And then we're going to do a short SRT climb, all to demonstrate properties of the JRB ascender hitch in bridge mode in self-tending operation. So what I have here is my tether tied onto the tree using a saddle hunter's hitch. You can see that hitch described here on my channel. And I'm gonna load one strand. This is tied out of Teufelberger eight millimeter Resk Tech. And my friction hitch is a five, two, three JRB ascender tied in soft bridge mode. Just showed you how to do that. And it's tied with Sterling six millimeter TRC. Now I'm gonna just clip into that with my bridge. So I clip, grab both. And so let's start by demonstrating how that self tends in this mode. Very smooth. I'm doing this left-handed just to keep you in view. Slightly uncomfortable for me, but does a great job. Let's show you another option, which is a little bit smoother. For a tether operation, we have the option of when we engage, grab one loop and go behind the rope. Now what this does, it's gonna give us just a little bit more travel, but I've tied these loops really small, but now it's even smoother. So if I can deal with that small bit of travel, so we've got two options, two options for how to set that up. Now I could show you this with a lot of different ropes, and I could show you this with a lot of different cords, but in the end, of the day, you're still gonna to need to tie and try with your combination. Okay, so let's let's uh, jump off of that and I'm gonna show you a lineman's belt configuration. Now, uh, quite obviously the motion of this is the same, but the rigging can vary. I'm aware that some of the saddle hunters like to use a lineman's belt, which is permanently attached to one side of the bridge. And if that's the case, you have the option instead of leaving these loops open to accept a carabiner, you could just tie them onto your bridge loop. And that's what I've done here. Here I have a uh, 513, just experimenting with the different uh, combinations of the JRB ascender hitch. And this is seven millimeter on nine millimeter. So I've got a 513 JRB ascender tied in soft bridge mode directly and permanently on my bridge, well, semi-permanently. And on the other side of the line, I've already taken my lineman's and I've wrapped it around the tree and I'll engage that. So let's, let's, let's take the slack out of that. So here's, here's the motion, right? Same move I'm doing with my left hand so you can see. But wanna come out a little bit? I'm gonna come in a little bit. And obviously, there's no carabiner to go around here. But we've got a, got a really nice non-mechanical solution for a lineman's belt. You get the idea. All right, so let's disconnect that. And I'm gonna jump onto the other side of the tree and we're gonna do something I've never done before. We are going to do an SRT climb with the very hitches that I rigged up last night for you. So this was the hitch I demonstrated in the tying video. It is a 523 Jarabee Ascender in soft bridge mode. And I threaded through it a loop of webbing about the right length, I think, for an SRT climb. So how does this work? So this is going to be a non-mechanical SRT climb on nothing but the JRB ascender hitch. So I'm gonna tie my primary bridge up to the top JRB ascender. If you recall, that's a 413. This is Samson Predator 11.4. The top friction hitch is tied with a Yale Beeline eight millimeter, and the bottom friction hitch is tied with Sterling accessory cord in seven millimeter. So I've already rigged my SRT rope. So that feels good. And now I'm gonna step into the foot loop. Okay, so 
There's no metal except for my handle, the carabiner, which itself is optional. There's no metal in this SRT clamp. So I bring my foot up into position, put this hand in place, and I have options for technique with this kind of climbing. You can put this hand up over the top and shove this up, or you can hold this hand here. But the key, key thing I'm, I'm trying to focus on today is the ease with which I can advance my foot loop using the JRB Ascender in soft bridge mode. So let's do one more move and then we'll really pay attention to how much effort I'm using there. Okay, so I'm ready for my next move. I'm gonna take two fingers. I'm gonna take two fingers. And that's a little bit of a struggle for two fingers. I kind of wanted a grip, but it gives you an idea how how little effort I can I can advance that. Now you're probably aware SRT is not my favorite way to climb in lieu of the, the JRB. It's got some advantages but you might already have your rope and if you've already got a, a rope of fixed length and it's too short to rig up a JRB system it's a great way to climb I do prefer thicker diameters for SRT okay so staying on that theme where we're talking about the JRB ascender hitch you know I usually repel at a Munzer friction hitch but I want to show off the properties of the hitch itself now I could have climbed with my, my secondary bridge already clipped in. Now I realize not a lot of folks have a secondary bridge, but I'm gonna clip that in to where my foot loop was. And I'm gonna repel with the friction provided by these two JRB ascenders. So these are now my, my repel device as well. So I'll start by breaking the top one until the second one holds. And now I simply manage friction in both of them. I urge you all to not consider speed on the rappel. Rappel should always be done slowly in a controlled fashion and burn off your friction slowly. But this is extremely effective and I didn't need to engage a munter. I didn't need to tie anything. Of course, you let go and you're good. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about this and I hope you can see the possibilities here with the JRB Ascender with soft bridge mode and all of these auto tending options. Thank you very much for your support.